Have you ever felt like packing your bags, taking a train to London with four of your friends, to then walk around bookstores and meet bookish friends all week long? Because I have. Everybody and welcome back to a new vlog. I am so excited for this one. I didn't do a whole lot of talking in this vlog, so you're stuck with me, voiceover Leo, but I promise I will make it a good time. We went from Rotterdam to London with the Eurostar, and then we got to our hotel, which was right across from King's Cross St. Pancras, which was amazing. Then me and the girls got ready for dinner, and then we headed out to this English pub. <laughs> Then on the second day of our trip, we started with a huge English breakfast. Of course, when you're in London, you've got to have one of these. And then we took the tube. We actually arrived in London the day before Yalk would start. So we had some extra time to walk around. We took a long, nice walk and saw some beautiful places. Here's some more footage of us being silly as if we've never ever sat on a tube before. And here's more of London. Look how beautiful. Michelle was my tour guide. She knew lots of things about our surroundings, which was really interesting and fun. Then it was finally time to meet some of our booktube friends. It is so weird to meet your internet friends for the first time. This is my friend Kat and that is Emily and here in the back we can see Jody, who is also a booktuber. All of these people are booktubers so definitely give them a watch as well. I will link all of their amazing channels down below. I'll do the same with all booktubers that appear in this vlog. And of course, we went to Waterstones because where else do booktubers go? And in Waterstones, I met my friend Joel for the first time and I also saw Tasmin and it was all so exciting and so much fun. Everybody was just chatting and having a good time. And as shown here, I already bought way too many books. And this is the start of the trip, mind you. We hadn't even been to York. <laughs> Then on the third day of our trip, we finally went to York. It was so exciting to see the convention, to meet all these people and see even more of our booktube and bookstagram friends. And of course we walked around, did some book shopping and we also had a look around Comic-Con, which was huge. And yes, just a lot of adventures.
at least we're at Yelp today for approximately 10 minutes. Yay! And then went to the museum. Which was way better. <laughs> Literature girls, so great. The rest of this day, we just relaxed in the park because we knew we were going to dinner with a really big group and also going to go out that night with a group of booktubers. And we were all very excited for that and wanted to be sure we were well rested. We just made some piles of all the books we bought. This is my haul. Leonie has a very nice, it's, cute. it's a cute efficient it's a haul. Cute and it's, haul. it's really cute. And then Sabine has the hugest stack Mine of books. Mine fell over because it was so huge and unstable. Yes. <laughs> just like my mental health. Oh my god. <laughs> I think like you could guess which one is which based on it. Like our personalities really shine through yeah, these true. steps. <laughs> Lovely. And now we're probably gonna go out for dinner. I haven't really done any talking in this vlog, so it's gonna be so chaotic, but good. <laughs> it's gonna be good, anyway. You wanna be in the dance break? You gotta put some like, music in your music. Like classical music. And then it was already the last evening of our trip and we went to hang out in the park with some more of our booktube friends. It was such a lovely evening with some nice sunshine. We saw Ashley, Gavin and Cody. And then over there's Becca, Zafina and Brit and Zaf is doing a very dramatic performance. <laughs> So I'm back from Yelk. I've been back for a few days. I still don't really know how to pronounce it Like do you say Yelk or Yelk? Anyway, I had a really fun experience There were a few things at Yelk itself that were a little bit disappointing Like we wanted to see this panel by my friend Joel that we were really excited about We couldn't get in because it was a really small room they held the panel in But apart from organizational stuff, I had a great time hanging around with all my booktube friends and it was just so, so amazing to see everybody and meet people that I've been friends with online for so many years now. And it was just so exciting and such a happy, fun week. I didn't really talk a lot during the vlog, like during the time I was there. So I think I'm going to voice over the whole thing. But to close off the whole vlog, I didn't really want to show you guys some stuff that I got in London and at York. I did also do a whole lot of book shopping. Like I bought way too many books. I'm going to be filming a separate book haul that will hopefully also be online this week. So let's now just show you guys a few things that I bought while I was at Yelp. Firstly, both me and Leonie got a book custom sprayed. We both had our copies of Radio Silence and we really wanted to get something special done to them so both of them are getting custom sprayed edges and this is being done by Kingdom Book Designs who had a stand at Yolk and it was so fun to meet her and to see all the wonderful spraying and art she does on book edges so beautiful please check out her Etsy I don't have my copy yet because we like gave it to her and then she's going to work her magic and we'll get it back um, but I'll definitely show you guys on the channel when I get that copy back because I'm so excited for it and also my copy of Radio Silence is a very special one like it means a lot to me it's one of my favorite books. Then I bought these earrings at Yelk. I'll show you guys a close up later. At like the floor below on Comic Con they had tons of beautiful earrings and so many cute stuff. So I bought these floral sword earrings that I think are so cool and I love a good sword because I am a fantasy reader after all. And then I also got these tiny tiny mushroom earrings and they have like
like little slugs on them and they are so adorable and they make me feel like a forest fairy which is how I want to feel all the time. And then we also went to Gloucester, uh, which was obviously not at Yalk, but we just went to Gloucester in London. And we don't have cloche in Holland, but as you all know, I love makeup and I was really excited to shop there. So I got this cloud paint, which is basically a blush and it is so beautiful. Like when you put it on, it looks so natural. I'm wearing it right now. Really excited about it. And then I also got this lipstick, which is called Leo. So obviously I had to get it because my name is Leo <laughs> and I'm wearing it right now as well. I love it. It's like a natural color, but it's really pretty. And yes, I also love Glossier's packaging. Then another small business I supported at York is the Bookish Burns Candle Shop. And I bought this candle, which is called Leiden and it is vanilla buttercream cupcake smell. And it smells so good. Like this is one of the best smells my nose has ever hovered and smells and it's just so good. It's got like a green glitter and some gold flakes in there and it just smells amazing. I love this smell. I want my whole house to smell like this always and forever. And then I got this little package with bookmarks from Daisy and B. Uh, JD came and handed it to me herself. It's very pretty. I'm really excited to see what the bookmarks look like. I will also link their Etsy shop down below. But I'm always excited to be receiving some bookmarks, especially as somebody who does their own web shop things. I always love supporting other small businesses. Oh, these are adorable. These are so cute. Okay, so I've got this one, which is like a sort of crystal shelf with all these crystals and plants. Very cute. Then I've got some balloon animals, also quite adorable. And there's some dinosaurs. These really remind me of like bracelets I had as a child, but it's also very cute. This one is, I think, my favorite. It's got all these bees and little flowers. And it's adorable. So yes, thank you so much. Very excited. And then I am so hyped about this. So at Harbour Voyager, they had these free tote bags if you bought a book. And like I said, I bought too many books. So I got a free tote as well. And it is so cool. It's like sort of dark academia-esque. Um, and it's got some really pretty illustrations. It's a black tote, which is always exciting. And it's just really pretty and really cool. And I think this will go great with all my Dark Academia looks. And then last but not least, something else I bought at the Comic-Con floor is my Writer's Talisman uh, pin. And it's so cute. As some of you know, I also write and I'm also doing writing vlogs right now. And this is basically like a talisman to ward off writer's block. They also have one for readers to ward off, I think, a reading slump and one for artists as well. And I basically wanted to get all of them, but I had to make a choice and I got this one and it's adorable. It's got a beautiful illustration and some crystals and keys and slugs as well. And it's just really, really pretty. That is some of the stuff that I bought. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you went to Yalk, I hope you had a great time as well. If you came to say hello to me, love you so much it was so wonderful to meet so many of you over there and it was a wild experience and i just had the best time and yeah thank you all so much and i'll see you in my next video bye